Hello and welcome. My name is Elliot and today I'm here to show you how easy it is to use the Tabs3 billing software. In just a few minutes, we'll go from working with a brand new client to producing a bill that you can give them on their way out of the office. So let's get started. Since this is a new client, we're going to need to add them to the system. To do that, we just need to add the client's matter and contact information in the client information window. One way to do this is to click Client Information from Pinned Actions on the Quick Launch pane. Click New to start a new matter and select what ID you want to use. We're going to let Tabs3 use the next available client ID in the system. Enter the client's name in last, first name order, and if it isn't already in your contact list, you'll be prompted to add a new record. Enter the information you have and then click Save. You'll see that this information is passed back to the client window as well. Now you can enter the work description for the client. Notice that there are a lot of tabs in this window. Tab 3 provides a ton of control over how a client is configured, when they're billed, what rates are used, and how the statement looks. However, at the most basic level, all you need to do is specify who the client is because system defaults usually take care of the rest. Save and close the client information window. Now we can enter the charges that will be included on their statement. Let's start with the meeting we just had with the client. Open the fee entry window. Since we just worked with this client, their ID is already specified. If the timekeeper is set, click into the hours worked field and enter the amount of time that you spent with the client and a description that will appear on the bill. The amount will be calculated for us. Then save the transaction. Now that our time is accounted for, we need to add an entry to charge the client for filing their paperwork with another party. Close out of the fee window and open the cost entry window. Simply specify the units and rate, and again, the amount is calculated for us. Save the transaction and close the window. And that's all you need to do to add billable work. Now you can easily produce a bill. Let's open Generate Statements. Now many firms will run statements for many of their clients at the same time, perhaps at the end of the month. However, you can just as easily create a one-off bill here by selecting the client or clients. Additional options allow you to select ranges of clients and transactions using a number of different criteria. These same options are available on almost all Tabs 3 reports. On the Options tab, select Final Statement and click OK. Let's preview the statement so we can see what it looks like before we give it to the client. We can see the fee and cost that we entered, as well as the total for the client. Just click Print here, and you can hand this to your client right away. After final statements are created, adding them to your ledger file as accounts receivable is as easy as running the Update Statements program. In a quick launch, simply type Update Statements to open the program, then enter the client ID and click OK. Billing your clients really is that easy even if you have multiple billing cycles, clients with different rates, bills that need to be electronically submitted or handled online. No matter how or when you bill, Tabs3 can work for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.